Good day, Engineer Jenilyn Rania. I am Eddie John R. Tabianan. And I am Rafael A. Colarte. And we are from BSMT3 Delta. And we are here to discuss the working principle of the fresh water generator. So first, the ejector pump sucks seawater from the sea chest. At this point, these two main valves are open. At the moment that the ejector pump sucks seawater, the seawater will automatically discharge to the condenser. And some seawater in the condenser will be traveled and entered to the evaporator. And other portion will be discharged overboard. Those seawater that entered this chamber, which is the evaporator, will commence the evaporation or the boiling process. So, partner, the question is, where can we produce the heat? Partner, the heat that we will be used comes from the cylinder liner of the main engine. These are heated liquids that comes from the combustion process. These heated liquids enters in the ending valve of the jack water line. They passes through this pipe and enter the evaporator with 70 to 85 degrees Celsius of temperature. And once the heat is being utilized by the evaporator, it will now exit the chamber and pass through this pipe and be discharged by the outlet valve of the jack water line. And those output will now proceed to the main engines. So partner, how is it possible that 70 to 85 degrees Celsius is enough to meet the boiling process of the seawater? Partner, it is really not possible. We all know that the boiling point of the water at normal atmospheric pressure is 100 degrees Celsius, which is opposite to 70 to 85 degrees Celsius. This will now come into this area. This area creates vacuum, as what you said, the other portions of seawater that travel from the condenser will go from this pipe and be discharged into overboard. Once the water enters the smaller pipes in this area, it creates vacuum pressure. This vacuum pressure leads these pipes, these pipes to suck air or gases from the condenser, making this area of the seawater with less in pressure. Less in pressure which means it will be capable in boiling in 70 to 85 degrees Celsius of temperature. So partner, once the seawater in this evaporator is being evaporated and formed into seawater vapor, it will seek passage and it will pass through this area. This area is called the demister. The demister serves as the filter of this separator. This separates or eliminates vapor into a pure vapor and the vapor with salt content. This Pure vapor will proceed to this area, the condenser, while those mist with salt content will be collected in this area and this will proceed to the air bin and will be discharged overboard together with the water flowing into the air bin in the upper. So after the water vapor or the water vapor being released by the demester, the pure water vapor will now be condensed by the cold seawater in the condenser, making it a fresh water. So the fresh water that is being collected uh, here in the condenser, uh, it is being collected here in the lower portion of uh, the condenser. And then it flows through to this pipe to the fresh water pump. But before the fresh water pump is being delivered to uh, the fresh water tank, the fresh water uh, is being checked and analyzed first by the salinometer, in which a salinometer is a device that determines the purity of the water in terms of the absence of the soap. If the salinometer determines that your fresh water is having above 10 ppm or 10 parts per million, the fresh water will automatically 
can be delivered back into the evaporator. But if the fresh water determined by the salinometer is having below uh, 10 ppm, your fresh water will now be delivered here in the fresh water tank to be considered as a pure fresh water. Therefore, we conclude that the fresh water generator um, transform um, seawater to a fresh water through distillation. We all know that the distillation process consists of condensation, which is the condenser, and the evaporation, which is the evaporator. That's all. Thank you and God bless. Leaving you with a quote, Kung ang hinoo maluluyon, si Mamroon niya pakaha.